All right, everybody, look what we got here. That just got dropped off today. A free TNT silver bullet. Man, deals are good and they're free. My favorite kind. Uh, backstory, my buddy found it in the shed. They're just gonna throw it away. So he brought it out here to this skidoo doctor. Uh, she's in pretty rough shape. A little 340 unit, as far as I can tell. I haven't really looked into it, but it says 340. I don't know if the motor's been swapped. The only thing I've done is really clean off the gauges and open the hood and turn it over once. Uh, I got the tack. Looks in pretty good shape. It works. Miles. We got almost 2,500. They say I think it is the 340. Let me get over. Hopefully the hood doesn't fall off. A little overview of what we got working with here. 340 got the tune pipe on it yet. When I drug it into the lawnmower, the cub there, the track didn't go around, so. We'll see if that's any good. It looked pretty weather checked. Skis are pretty rusted up. I think it's been sitting for a long time. Like I see it, it's not locked up or anything. I think the reason why it was parked is one spark plug is out. As you can see, I'll swing around this way. And the coil's off, so I'm sure it wasn't firing on one. They're probably fighting it and gave up. So I'm sure either the points are junk in there, or the coil was bad, but whatever is the problem, we got parts to fix it. So not a big deal. It's got the HD carb on it there. And like I say, I haven't looked at it too much to know the numbers on, if it's the numbers matching to this motor or not. Uh, the throttle is free. And so was the brake, so it's not too bad. Key. Perfect. With the key in it, very rare item. Old belt. I was with it, looked a little worn down. Not a skidoo belt, aftermarket, really old. Junker. Seat, pretty tough. Nice living it. Trunk, surprisingly, looks to be in nice shape. And for one of the first times, there's nothing in it. Nothing. Kind of weird. Usually there's something in there. It's got a snow flap there. Hitch isn't froze up. Uh, it's got a little rust cancer back here, so once we get the seat off, we'll probably look at it. Like I say, I just got it today. Want to get some degreaser, pour wash it with my pour washer, with some hot water. See in there. All right, I'll give you a turnover. Like I say, there's only one spark plug in it, so. That one's got pretty compression though, so. Hey, sir. Like I say here, hopefully get it going. Hopefully the tune pipe doesn't. Is not full of stuff from mice. It's not totally rusted out. I see a little bit there. The outer covering's coming off. But looks like we had a little situation with the gas tank. That's not good, but we'll see what we got to work with here. I don't even know if it steers. Oh yeah, look at that. Sweet. Before I go here, I'll give you a little Bend down and give you a little thing, visual of the track here. It looks like the bogey was locked up. She's nice and flat, but the track does not look in good shape. So I'm guessing it's not going to last real long. Bogey on the other side is already drilled off, so I'm sure that bearing's junk too. Bought brand new Michael Brook Marine in Omni, Wisconsin. I love these old stickers. 
tell you the history what these old girls came from. All right, yeah, that's it. Shed Fresh 73 TNT Silver Bullet 340. Shop's kind of a mess with our projects, but we'll get this one cleaned up and in the shop and play with a little bit. All right, thanks for watching. Keep in touch and show you what we got going on with this old girl. Thanks.